have Spike. Spike Man. I see before me an army here to honor their heroes. Heroes who remind us not only what it means to be a man, but lest we ever forget what it means to be a guy! Tonight, we say to all demancipators, they can take away our lives, but they can never take away our balls! What do you do? Will you fight? Will you fight? Will you fight? Okay. Then let us join in these festivities. To begin with, we pay homage to the classic, a guy film, Fight Club. Now this film celebrates its 10th anniversary this year and tonight takes its rightful place in the Guy Movie Hall of Fame. This film speaks to men everywhere and sparked a movement of underground fight clubs and a generation of guys who still quote the film's most memorable line. I'm sorry, I was thinking about Meat Loves Bitch Tits. Memorable lines. So now I invite you to once again witness the glory that is Fight Club! This is your life. People are always asking me if I know Tyler Durden. No, wait, back up. Let me start earlier. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. With insomnia, nothing's real. Insomnia, nothing's real. Everything's a copy of a copy of a copy. So, the yardstick of civilization. And this is how I met Tyler Durden. As hard as you can. What? Oh, mother! Who are we doing tonight? Tonight, we make soap. Tyler sold this soap to department stores at $20 a bar. It was beautiful. We were selling rich women their own fat asses back to them. Bob. Bob had bitch tits. They're gonna have to open up my pecs again and drain the fluid. Still remaining men together? No, no, I got something so much better now. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. Can I be next? First rule is you do not talk about Fight Club. I'm not supposed to talk about it. And the second rule is you do not talk about Fight Club. anywhere like you were there nothing was solved but nothing mattered this was my new Tyler's gift to the world we all felt saved is that your blunt some of it yeah you can't smoke in here I got right in everyone's hostile little face and I used to be such a nice guy blind's liability my tit's gonna rot off Will you excuse me? I need to take this. If I did have a tumor, I'd name it Marla. My God. I haven't been like that since grade school. We all became what Tyler wanted us to be. His name is Robert Paulson. Each one of you has a homework sign. Tyler built himself an army. Space Monk. Operation not take thunder. Go. To what purpose? For what greater good? Tyler, we trust it. We're not your job. The car you drive. Not the contents of your wallet. Not your f***ing khakis. They all seem to be all dancing crap at the world. (laughs) 
men, rise before them and welcome David Fincher, Ed Norton, and Brad Pitt. Thanks, sugar tits. Uh, not to be egotistical, but um, we kind of knew that an award like this was in our future. Especially... Uh, Especially after we read the reviews of our movies, like these ones. A load of rancid, depressing swill from start to finish. Rex Reed, The New York Observer. A witless mishmash of whiny, infantile philosophizing and bone-crushing violence. Yeah. Kenneth Turan, L.A. Times. He's a cop. Washington's poster child for What's Wrong with Hollywood, Anita Bush, Hollywood Reporter. The most cheerfully fascist film since Death Wish, its macho porn is the sex movie Hollywood has been moving toward for years. That was Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. This movie is not only anti-capitalist, but anti-society, and indeed, anti-God. <laughs> Alexander Walker, Evening Standard. So, uh, the only question is, <clears throat> in a moment like this, uh, which is surely a career pinnacle for all three of us, <laughs> uh, what would Tyler Durden say? He might say, uh, thank you for giving an award to our movie, which is about how meaningless awards like this actually are. And thank you to all the talented people involved in the making of this film, without whom I could not be here giving one last desperate squeeze to the bruised teats of the corporate cash cow that is Fight Club. And finally, he would say, thank you, Spike TV, for this shameless marketing device. Posing as entertainment, giving us an opportunity to shield from my next upcoming film, Inglourious Bastards, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Thank you for the greatest moment of my entire life. Thank you, Spike! <laughs> 